So let's verify. What is the Defense Production Act and how does it work? Our sources are Mackenzie Eaglin, a resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, Dr. Anand Parekh, chief medical advisor at the Bipartisan Policy Center, and a FEMA explainer on the Defense Production Act. The Defense Production Act is a 1950s era law uh, that allows the federal government to work with the private sector, incentivize, or in some cases compel uh, the private sector to quickly manufacture critical goods uh, in the time of a national emergency. Basically, this act allows the president to take control of some parts of private industry to defend the country. Of course, right now, the national emergency isn't a military conflict, uh, but it's COVID-19. So how does it work? Dr. Parekh says, first, the feds decide exactly what they need, how much and by when. He told us right now the Biden team has a list of PPE, testing equipment and vaccine supplies like vials and syringes. Mackenzie Eaglin told us based on that, they negotiate with private companies on compensation and timeline. Yes, you heard that right, compensation. They have to pay for uh, companies needing to make rapid changes to maybe retrain employees, to rework manufacturing lines or floors. And all of that is part of those negotiations with the federal government. And here's another key aspect. It requires private manufacturers to prioritize America's needs. So if China's calling and like, we need our vials too, Uncle Sam gets it first in that scenario. One last important note that I think uh, kind of gets lost in all this is that an executive power like this seems like a blanket act, but it's not. According to Mackenzie uh, right there, she was saying that one of the things that they cannot do is that they cannot, the federal government cannot just put this up for anything for whatever, whenever. This has to be involved with individual contracts between the government and those companies. So that's kind of a look at how the Defense Production Act could play into helping to curb the pandemic. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you, Tony. All right, Matt.